Yes, we've just had some news in the last few moments that jailed Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has died. Now, Navalny, of course, was a prominent opposition leader and fierce critic of the president, Vladimir Putin. He's organized many marks and activist uh, movements against the president in recent years. We've just heard in the last moments, as I've just said, from the prison service of the Yarmolo Nenets region, where he had been serving his sentence, that Alexei Navalny has died. Jay, th thank you for that. We'll keep the updates coming in. Matthew, um, what's your reaction to that? Well, I mean, it's a very tragic death, uh, not only uh, uh, for his family, but for, but for Russia as a whole and, frankly, for the world, because he was one of the hopes uh, of opposition to Putin. I mean, we hope at some point uh, that Russia will move on from Putin for the benefit of the Russian people. Uh, and Navalny was uh, absolutely at the centre of the opposition to Putin. Um, he, was, uh, he, was a, he was a hope, and so a candle has been snuffed out. And, of course, lots of questions will be asked about the circumstances. He shouldn't have been in jail in the first place. Uh, the Russian jail system is not uh, nice for anybody, but particularly particularly over political prisoners. Uh, so, we do, I mean, there'll be, you know, the whole world will be asking questions about how this happened. Well, of course, and I think just at the turn of the year, wasn't it, there was some concern that he hadn't been seen in public, and this is uh, what they laughingly refer to in Russia as an election year. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure that they're elections like we recognise them, are they, Stella? Yes, exactly. I mean, obviously, it is still important that they are held and the candidates do stands, but they are complete farce uh, to democracy. And this is why it is so worrying, thinking about the Tatyar Carlson interview last week, when we were talking about whether it was a good idea, whether he should have been allowed to do it, why wasn't it another journalist who did this interview? Well, there was a very good reason why there wasn't any other journalist interviewing Putin. Firstly, because obviously he wouldn't have said yes, but also there are so many journalists languishing in prison right now right. who could be holding uh, Putin to account. Yeah. Russian but, generally, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. and it shows you how important it is when we're talking about the presidential elections that are taking place in the US. This is what we're coming up against. This is the alternative reality when we're saying we're not going to be supporting Ukraine and we're not going to be some. We're, we're not going to we're country, say that yeah. the Republican Party the Republican yeah. has Party, been yeah. blocking this. <laughs> of course, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But it reminds us, I mean, look, you know, when we're having our debates today, it just reminds us of how, how, how wonderful the freedom uh, of debate is and, you know, uh, the price that people pay yeah. uh, for fighting for democracy. Yeah. Well, I think uh, if I was in Russia, I might be locked up uh, for being disobliging about all politicians. I have an equal opportunity policy to be rude about politicians. I just tell them when I think they're wrong.